Weapons which give the warriors advantage leading to their victory, often given as gifts by gods across a range of different cultures. These mythical weapons frequently and supernatural powers imbued them to them. Though most are just material from ancient stories, some of these weapons exist in museums around the world today. Here are the top 20 most powerful and magical weapons in mythology. Brahmastra This magical weapon would destroy entire hosts at once, could also counter most different astras. In the epic Mahabharata, it is stated that the weapon manifests with the single head of Lord Brahma at its tip. The Brahmastra was believed to purpose severe environmental damage. The land where the weapon was used became barren, and all life in and around that area ceased to exist, as both ladies and men became infertile. There was a change into the climatic condition, as it was believed to decrease the rainfall and turn the land barren. This weapon is mentioned within the Vedas as the weapon of closing in and became in no way to be used in combat. Giant Baylor's Powerful Weapon One of the leaders of the Formor was the massive Baylor, successful to send a powerful beam flux of energy across the channel among Croy Island and Ireland to blast his enemies. Based on descriptions, it was instead a machine than a dwelling creature. Also, the Formor had been on probably machines with eyes that forged out an effective beam that became enemies into ashes. Moreover, his most effective eye may want to blast an entire military when he opened the seven eyelids protecting it. The Ligurcus Cup This one piece had been dated back to the 4th century Roman Empire. It depicts Ligurcus, the temperamental king of Thrace, the god of wine from Greco-Roman mythology. As the tale goes, Ligurcus banished Dionysus from his kingdom, made to a sequence of unfortunate events that sends the land into utter desolation and angers its citizens. Dionysus then makes a decision to torture Ligurcus for his horrific behavior, with the assistance of Ambrosia, a nymph who had been transformed into a vine. Thus, we find Ligurcus inside the unlucky scenario of being completely tangled in Ambrosia's herbaceous net, even as Dionysus facilitates him silly. Nagastra Nagastra in Hindi language means a weapon which looks like a snake. The snake weapon was used by Indraji in opposition to Rama and Lakshmana and was used by Karna towards Anjura in Mahabharata. This weapon tackled the form of a snake, proving lethal upon impact. This might without a doubt be an arrow with snake poison implemented in its head. Such poison-dipped weapons have been determined to be utilized by a couple of tribal throughout India, and consequently this can't be accounted as a mysterious weapon. Sword of King Arthur Excalibur, the famous sword of the stone of King Arthur in the forest. King Arthur's Excalibur might be the maximum mythical sword ever. It has positive magical attributes and a fantastic legend is associated with it. Legends say that there has been a, once a sword that someone caught into a rock claiming that only the real Knight of Britain could have the ability to get rid of the sword from the rock. Many robust men tried and useless to get rid of the sword however failed, till sooner or later Arthur came and raised the sword and consequently acquired the throne. Sudarsansa Chakra the most powerful chakra weapon is continually alluded to in the Supreme Lord Vishnu. Krishna, being an incarnate of Vishnu, wielded the weapon. It has tremendous occult and spiritual strength to damage everything. It is believed to be the most effective weapon, and it couldn't be possessed through any mortal. Though chakra was a weapon utilized by different warriors as well, the Sudarsansa chakra became probably a nicely designed heavy and sharp chakra weapon and might travel extra distance and needed more capabilities and practice to apply it efficiently. Molinir the legendary Norse god of lightning, Thor, wields this powerful hammer, Molinir, the lightning bolt. The hammer was created when Loki challenged two dwarves, Broker and Irti, to create items more beautiful than those created by the sons of Ivaldi. The Dwarfen brothers succeeded, despite Loki's intervention, though the handle was shorter than expected. The hammer is so powerful it could not be destroyed and would return to superhero whenever he threw it. Shamsir Zorodengnar 
Persian legend tells us of the legendary sword Shamsir Zoramegnar, originally property of King Solomon. The sword was said to be guarded by Falud Zared, a witch and mother of ferocious horned demon. She protected it so carefully because this legendary mythological weapon was the only thing capable of killing her son. If a person was wounded by Shamsir Zoramegnar, the wound could only be treated by a potion made from, among other things, Falud Zared's brain. Durendal Charlemagne's paladin Roland wielded the powerful sword Durendal. The sword was said to contain a tooth from St. Peter, hair from St. Denis, part of the clothing of the Virgin Mary, and blood from St. Basil. This legendary sword is said to be the sharpest sword which had ever existed, even capable of holding off a hundred thousand strong army as the stories say Roland and his small army did. Folklore in southern France claims Roland threw the sword into a cliff wall at Roca Madur, though the tourist office refers to the sword in the cliff simply as a replica. Green Dragon Crescent Blade The Green Dragon Crescent Blade was a Guandao, which is a heavy, curved blade with a spike on the back attached to a pole wielded by the General Guanzhu. The blade was so deadly that it was also known as the Frost Fair Blade, since during battles in the snow, the blade would be consistently coated in blood which would freeze into a layer of frost. How was it made, definitely? Tizona Along with La Colada, the Tizona is one of two legendary swords attributed to Spanish conqueror El Cid when he used to drive the Moors out of the Iberian Peninsula. Immediately aware, there are no escaping the mighty blade. El Cid's opponents would often turn and run from the Tizona. The city of Burgos was near to his birthplace in Spain, acquired what is said to be the sword in 2007. Pashu Patastra the Pashu Patastra is one of the most powerful weapons in all of Hindu mythology. This legendary weapon, used via the mind, eyes, words, or a bow, is capable of eradicating all living beings and destroying all of certain creation. The personal weapon of Lord Shiva, the god gave it to the warrior Arjuna. Knowing better, Arjuna brained using the Pashu Patrasta, lest he destroy the entire world. Hanzo Masamun the Hanjo Masamun is a perfectly crafted sword from Japanese legend. So far as the story goes, this powerful sword earned its place in history when the swordsman named Umanosuke attacked a mighty general and split his helmet clean in half. After a donor obtained the sword, he gave the national treasure to the Kyoto National Museum where it belongs. Much like the Shimizu sword, the Hanjo Masamuni may reappear sometime in the future. The Shining Lug, lord of craftsmanship, light, victory, and war, is a grasp builder, harper, poet, warrior, sorcerer, metal worker, cupbearer, and physician. It's hard to check anything at which Lug does not now excel. It is also known as the Invincible Spear, or the Spear of Victory, and it had properties similar to the Sword of Nuada. When thrown, it momentarily hits its target. The spear became blazing hot, and it became hotter the longer it turned into use. It was stored in a vat of water at night to preserve it from catching fireplace and sizzling the earth. Time travel, a vicious weapon. It would possibly sound uncommon that how touring in time can be used as a weapon. Think approximately, what would take place if someone ought to go lower back in time and kill the most powerful leaders earlier than they became effective leaders may want to have done it in present or in future. If we investigate historical texts, we are able to find some of references to time traveling. Even if this ride didn't find along, when Kukudumi returned back to Earth, 108 yugas had handed on Earth. And it's far concept that every yuga represents about 4 million years. Muramasa Blades this one-piece legendary swordsmith Muramasa Sengo was a popular sword maker in Japan. At the time, it was a commonly held belief that blades received qualities from their forger. Since he was an insane and violent man, the swords made by Muramasa Sengo were imbued with violent qualities, especially the ability to possess their wielders and turn them into deadly warriors. After the Shogun's king and grandfather were killed by the blades, they were banned. Sword of Damocles 
The story of the Sword of Damocles came from the history of Sicily, as recounted by Timaeus of Tower Ruminia. Damocles was a courier of King Dionysus II of Syracuse's court, and was one day lauding praises on the king for his fortune of having so much power and wealth. Dionysus offered to change places with the courier, a proposal which Damocles quickly accepted. But, to show the perils that came with the power, the king had a massive sword hung above the throne by just one hair of a horse's tail. Damocles begged the king to take back the responsibility. Mysterious Powerful Vajra But first do us a favor, click that like button to inspire us. Subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell and you won't miss any interesting videos. Done then, let's go! An unknown, terrible, and powerful ancient weapon could have contributed to the collapse of one or several advanced technologically civilizations that existed in the distant past. Essentially, Vajra is an indestructible substance, usually represented by diamond. Indra, most important among the Indo-Aryan gods, the leader of the Devas, and the lord of Svargaloka, or heaven in Hinduism, is frequently portrayed wielding a powerful thunderbolt. Vajra that could not only destroy the enemy in attacking flying machine, but it also had the ability to cause rain, and thus it was a symbol of fertility. The Sword of Attila The legendary Hun warrior Attila is said to have been given a weapon by the gods themselves. The Sword of Attila was used by the great military commander in battle and as a symbol of divine favor. The fact is, the legendary weapon is housed in the Confessoris Museum in Vienna, though this sword seems to have been made at least a half a millennia after Attila died. Gunir The Gunir is a god weapon, a legendary spear unlike any other in mythology. It was wielded by Odin in the Norse legends and possesses incredible power. The spear always has perfect aim, hitting its target every single time. As the ruler of Asgard's main armament, Gunir is as powerful and enduring a weapon as it is a symbolic representation of power and authority. A powerful mythical spear, it is forged strong as guardian metals and carried many enchantments to magnify its power. What is your favorite weapon? What really makes a weapon magical and powerful? Let us know in the comments section below. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.